Crikey. It's been quite a long time since I've done this. Oops. But yeah, no, the last few months with work, I've just been so busy, and like the last week, it's just been like, you know what? I'm less busy. Or at least I'm busy, but I'm in the house busy. So, it's something. So yeah, hello Dylan. I, this, did not anticipate how quickly I split would load, so I'm just going to finish eating my lunch quickly, and I'll be right with you guys. Nom 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 nom. Actually eating lunch at lunchtime. Absolute madman. Ugh. So, as the title suggests, I decided, fuck it, I'm going to tame a Spinosaurus. Hello, Dwayne. Uh, so I've got plenty of stone pillars, oh, stone walls. I'm really going to need. Spiders are quite big. Um, I'm eating the leftovers of a kebab pizza because I'm a man of culture. Um. What have we got structures wise that I can nab? Yeah, that should do it. Um, spinos are relatively big. Um, take those because they're convenient. I park nipple. Yeah, guy pizza's good. I've got another one to eat as well, because uh, it was cheaper to buy two pizzas and, you know, have two pizzas. So, yeah, very, very exciting going on here. So, should be enough walls, I can make any extra bits I need. Um, right, I'm going to be doing a lot of groundwork, so I'm going to go get my riot gear. And make sure I'm not carrying anyone valuable. If I can get through the door. Oh yeah, these lads are fun. But what it is, it's a pizza with kebab meat on the top. Rather nice. Um, some good helmet. My good trousers. My good body armor. My good gloves. Uh, boots. I thought I had more boots in my cupboard. No, let's take the 131 rifle. Um, might as well take the loadout. Not, not going to take the shotgun, I don't think. Um, a riot shield, that'll help. Ooh, 412 to 330 to 403. Mmm, 60 more armor. I mean, you're welcome to join the server if you want to. It's a free open one. It's called uh, Byzantium. Quite similar mods to Cat's server. Um, but it's PvP, so it's a bit more... 
potentially exciting at least. <laughs> No, this is my my room where I keep bullshit mostly. Got some feather lights, Fionis, some of the you know where is it? Look like penguins, there we go. Apparently the UK has indeed uh does indeed at least intend to regulate pizza. Which is why I got pizza recently. I don't normally do, despite pizza being good. Num num num. Um so if I want to get a really good Spinosaurus kin. I'm going to need Argentavis Kibble, about 40 darts. So I shall do the normal trick with this game of taking twice as much for the inevitable, you know, misses, stuff just not working. All that jazz. Well, it's never connecting with the target. That's a favourite. I mean, I, I do as well, Zocky. So, you know, can't complain. I'm looking at... Um, what's the word? Extinction when it comes out. That looks fun. Tech Argentate, not Argentavis, Quetzalcoatl. I look forward to taming myself a Eurofighter. Though more likely it'll just be a, you know. Not a monarch there. You know, the thing, with, with the things. Um. Take my super darts. How much Argent Davis Kibble have we got? 64, should be enough to tame a couple. So it should be everything I need to tame me a Dave and his uh, young lady friend. That's plenty of kibble left in fried rice. Um, I think I've already put everything else in Niffle. Uh, only on cat server, but uh, what they're doing is uh, they're concerned about childhood obesity and just obesity in general. So they're limiting pizzas to a thousand to less than a thousand calories because you know it's worked really well with alcohol so far. <laughs> Scotland bought two million bottles more of wine since they brought in the regulations a few months ago. Scotland. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, apparently that does appear to be the answer as, uh, Yeah, you know, why, why would ne anyone need personal responsibility when the government can do all of that? Just, you know, just accept that Big Brother is going to be a thing and move on with your life. Um, yeah, because I know it's the, it's the, they've got to reduce the size of the pizza or the amount of toppings to bring it under a thousand calories. I know also Scottish takeaways are not meant to be able to give you free prawn crackers anymore and stuff like that. It's just like, this isn't a solution. <laughs> I 
Oh yeah, how is, um, well, I'd say Australia is a pretty fucking big place, but I've got some friends who are currently in Australia, so I'm hoping that they're going to have a nice time. Also, oops, telling people you're from Australia, doxed. There's only one person called Dylan there. Um, is it evening, or is it... N yeah, it's evening. Bollocks. Oh, I hadn't introduced you. This is Niffle, my Frostwoven. He's a good boy. I also have Muspel, who is uh, somewhere else at the moment. Well, obviously somewhere else at the moment. Um... fine, because if we just regulate everything, then no one can commit crime, because everything will be illegal. <laughs> but I just finished watching uh, the uh, the Count Dankula video on the Sterling talk that didn't actually happen at the Sterling University, because, uh, you know, that would have been... Convenient. If you could land with them, that would be great. There we go. Oh yeah, everyone's down for that, because it's just like, oh, it's not working how we want to, so we're gonna delay it. Because, you know, fuck the government. Oh, me, you pugs and Nazi. It's quite a big tree, this. Um, I probably should make a bed when I'm here. You know, just, just in case something happens, like I get yeeted into the sky. Right. But yeah, I think the last time I... I can't remember what point I was up to last time I was playing this uh, in front of you guys. There's my 100 subscriber special. I now have 101. Really, really going up in the world now. Scotland wants to be independent, apparently, so it can uh, be ruled over by Brussels, not uh, Westminster. Seems legit, right? Yeah, if anyone wants to jump in this server, it's, as I say, it's called Byzantium. It's, uh, it's you know, it's not password locked or anything. Stu would quite like to have more people in here, in all honesty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I don't know if anyone's been catching it. I keep forgetting to share the links to the right places, but, uh... The, uh... The Master Stu, who, uh, runs this server, has his, uh... Uh, I think it's Black Crusade? Yeah, Black Crusade games, uh, generally it's on Mondays, but we also were on yesterday to fill in for, uh, the fact that, um, the, uh, artist and one of the main characters from the, uh, Knuckle of Ease Pathfinder game was not available, as, uh, he was, I believe, in the Czech Republic? Uh and was therefore unable to uh, play the imaginary online game. <laughs> I know. Can't believe it. People having lives and priorities. <laughs> um, come on. 
concerned. I feel like this is way too big for a Spinosaurus now that I now that I look at it. Yeah, playing the CKF set, if you didn't recognize the foundation. Castles, keeps, and forts. It was on uh, the, as I believe he is currently known, Boomer of Acads. Uh, is that? Hmm. Looks awfully like a rock drake over there. Yep, yeah, I can count. Yeah, I was playing on Saigon server, and uh, there's loads of stuff in here that I didn't know it existed, just because, you know, I wasn't very familiar with the mod, in all honesty. And now I know. Now we know. Um, things that I thought through. How do I get in here? Bloop. I've recently taken a mind wipe tonic, so I don't actually know what yeah, I don't have any doorways. Um, now, if I remember correctly, a Spinosaurus cannot fit through a standard gateway. So there's no point in putting one in, I'll just take the wall out when I'm finished. Oh yeah, feature I did not know existed until a week or so ago. The resource pull function. Hey, it's got, as I say, it's got very similar mods to Cat Server. Um, maybe from Cat Server or from Mesopotamia. I forget now. It's been a while since I've brained. I think you were from Mesopotamia, not Count Server. So that might explain why I don't quite remember things. Also, my memory's just a bit shit. Yeah, no, we we're hoping. Stu was kind of hoping that his map could uh, take over from Mesopotamia. And to be fair, Ragnarok is just a really nice map, so it's possible. I am honestly surprised I've not just been yeeted into the sky yet. Team Rocket's blasting off again! I'm in the right part of the map, right? <laughs> yep. Uh, and now the sun has decided to come out and it's now shining on my screen. Yeah, not quite so much chance to have um, naval warfare on this map, but uh, I'm sure we can make do. Um, so I need to go down four levels, four wide, gonna need 14 of these. Do I have stone ramps? Yes, I do. Excellent, I need more stone. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's really dark now. I don't know what the stream can see, but I can barely see anything. Should have bought a stony boy with me. Or, you know, more ramps. Yeah, this has the Aberration Plus stuff on it, so I've got my little rock drake of my own. Managed to get, I think, a 185 egg. Well, I've got a pair of 185 eggs as well, which is good. Which got us twins and a single one. Um, what else did we get that was exciting and all fun? Oh, yeah, Niffle and Muspelheim. Well, Niffleheim and Muspelheim are both 185 eggs that I managed to get just before Lempo died. Uh, yeah, Lempo was killed by, I think, six Wyverns simultaneously after already fighting, I think, a 175 for quite a while. Um, yeah, that, that didn't go well for her. She was a good Borb, but uh, she was not indestructible. Hmm. Not quite sure what's going on there. So I need another eight. Apparently I can make five. Alright, so that's ten more. It's something I should probably get to niffle some food in a bit. So reminds me at some point I need to tab across to my other screen and make sure that rhythm is muted in case someone decides to jump in and play something that I'm not expecting. As that is uh, a popular feature of this server. Yeah. Alright. That'll do. Where all the Spinosaurus is at. Need to find something nice and ah, here we go. Triceratops, it's their dickheads. Ooh, that was a 150. Well, I, I guess it was delicious. Uh, what do I need to make a bed? I have not got the Engram for a bed at the moment. Oh yeah, I took a mind wipe tonic after leaving Mesopotamia. As uh I had all kinds of junk in my invent in my engrams. Things that I would never want to use. But other people wanted me to get them because I was the high level person for a while. Um Bed. There we go. So I need 30 fiber. There's a concerning lack of wildlife here at the moment. Is this the curse of I'm looking for it, therefore it doesn't exist? Oh, there's one. What have we got? Level 55. Now, technically, I'm only getting these for their eggs, so they don't need to be good. Oh, there's another one. Female. Tasty, tasty raptors. Right, can I aggro this guy without killing it? Nope!
Oh, good. Niffle. Niffle, you bastard. If I told you I was not surprised, would you believe me? What's attacking me? Oh, it's the spider, right. Niffle, why are you just standing there, like, and taking it? Oh, I guess my armor's a bit banged up. No, no, it's not. Alright. Let's try that again without dunking myself in the sea. Now, where's my trap? Um... Hmm... I'm just gonna check where my trap is. It's over there. Good. Well, that answers the question of how durable is a Spinosaurus? Not, not very. Not compared to my 236 with him. <laughs> uh, this isn't even my fighty wyvern. The fighty wyvern is uh, the thick boy. 140, alright then. Stamina back. And. Watch me just get yeeted off the back of this. Um, what shiny things did I get? I pretty much didn't. Alright. Happy bulb, good. And right, either land or don't land. Don't just flap a boot. I gone the wrong way. Possibly. I'm not suggesting this place is a bit of a maze, but I have gotten turned around a few times. Uh, I'm trying to tame a Spinosaurus, and to do that I need to get it in a box. As otherwise, I'll knock it unconscious, and then its mates will come and eat it. There is a 140, 
not very far away. Okay, let's let's try this again. So I need to head that way. Level ninety five. Fifty-five. Level ninety. Level fifty and a level ninety-five. There are fucking pteranodons raining. Not pteranodons. Makes sense if they were. Uh. Hmm. Well, that one's gone. So my trap's over here. Ooh, tech par tech raptors. Need to mail one of those at some point. Eh. Eh. It's kind of shit. That one's a dippy. Alright, what we got? Mail 140. Feck it. Oh, there's another one. Female 100. There we go. Yep. This pair, if I can get them both. Get in here. I, I've already shown them the otters with the hat smellers. I intend to try and breed some more otters today, though. I'm much like Spino the real Spinosaurus kin. These get easily distracted with trolls and haters. I think that one's gonna die, though. <laughs> well. I found the spinos. I'm just trying to just trying to get the spinos in the box. A nice simple solution to this. What? Oh. Notice me. Notice me spine pie. There we go. Right, I'm nearly out of stamina, so I'm just going to land and kill this dippy. Because death to the dippies. See you later, Socky. This is why we kill the Diffies. Oh, fuck. Right, what's happened to Niffle? Niffle, you're kind of a bit of a useless fuck, aren't you? Diffies are one of the biggest threats to humanity in this game. Like, a Rex will kill you because it's hungry. You know, a Rex will kill you because it's hungry. A Dippy will kill you because it's fucking incompetent. I'm aware that I'm being attacked. 
So this is why the two dippies that I have that live underneath the house are called Pain and Suffering. Can we not be clipped, please? There we go. That was not the right gun. Come on, keep the aggro. Ah, uh, come on. Keep the aggro. There we go. Okay, I think I need to kill literally everything in between me and it. Or just move the taming box. Probably still brought a saddle down here as well. Careful not to actually hit the Spino too much. That's it. So keep the aggro. You know you want to. Attack the nice Wyvern. Okay. <coughs> We've got in the right place. And oh, there's another one just there. Great. Is that? Eh, no, no, it's not. Oh, good. Um, let's. Well, that that's that's good. How much wall have we got left? <laughs> It's a rock trait, yeah. Well, Niffle is more hurt than I was hoping he would be, but... This can be resolved. Hopefully, the Spinosaurus is not too wide. Um, I've got a tech rifle somewhere on the server. Uh, it's it's kind of shit. Hopefully. Ah, 
that's not reassuring. They're quite big closer. <laughs> Um, cease. Stop that. Probably should have brought my auto turret for this. It's much quicker at knocking things over. Boom! Spino shot. Uh, so I've got the kibble, I've got the narcotic. Now I've just got to get the kibble in this little bastard and then. Uh, it should take half this kibble. Right, and it's only level 100, so it shouldn't even take that much. Right, let's go and find anything big, violent, and nearby, and then kill it. Case in point. Whoops. Now I'm just going to quickly check if they are Piscovals. As I don't believe they are. No, they, they prefer... Uh, they are, I believe, just carnival. Yeah, they're just carnivals. Wunderbar. Illusions. My CPU is not enjoying this, so it's getting kind of warm in here. However, the GPU is at least nice and cool. Here we go. Where's my mouse? There it is. Should probably get a kangaroo at some point. So, it's level 100. With Argentavis kibble, it should be about 8 actually. Huh. Maybe a hundred or so narcotic. And a half an hour. Well, I hope you guys are ready for the fun and excitement of me sitting here. Huh. See if I can knock over another one nearby, but not too nearby. You know what I'm going to do, though? Death to the dippies.
I'm going to fill in the gaps in that wall. Um, yeah, I don't really think this through on, you know, the whole, ah, oh, this will be something interesting to watch. <coughs> Guess I'll make a backup bed just in case. So there's a good chance that I could die before my uh, armor gave out in circumstances. I feel like having someone else in the call when I started this might have made it uh, more interesting for people. Oops. But yeah, I am currently doing not too much in terms of my current job, as I uh, probably should have warmed up a bit before I moved a mattress yesterday. I was only carrying it like two blocks. It's fine. Just, you know, just 25 kilos on my shoulders that are a bit fucked still. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Oh yeah. Got the glowing red eyes. Some exciting like that. Right. Hey, it's slightly tamed. So that's what, one kibble has tamed at 13%, so that's gonna be... Nine? No, eight, so it'll be 12.5%. Oh. Yeah, oh, you're, you're quite good. Hmm. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Is that level 90? Yeah. I could go knock that guy out over there. Let's use the natural terrain. Hope I don't get yeeted in the process. Oh, there's a dead... Carnotaurus? Yep. Can we not? Can we not, Stegosaurus? No, they are very colourful and everything, but uh, not not helping. Um. Um. Ahem. So you come this way. Yep. Away from the sleepy boy. Land, land, Quiven, land. Right. And pull. Where's Niffle? I don't want to hit Niffle. Mm. 
Niffle is a thick boy. C could you land, please? Why did you aggro the... F Um, can, can you fucking not? Can, can you fucking not, Niffle? Alright, fine. Ig ignore me then. You know, g guess I'll go fuck myself. There you go. See, you're listening now, aren't you? Dickhead. And my commands are not working. And will you fucking land? Yeah, land and don't start aggroing shit this time. Dickhead. I'm gonna land? Who's gonna be awkward? I'm wearing gloves made out of one of your kind, you know that. You're not helping. There we go. That's right, you attack the dippy. Completely ignore the guy shooting you in the back. All right, Niffle, fine. Let's try this again. Right. See, see this? See this following? Do that. Let's get over to the other spino shortian. If I can feed it more narcotic. Right, Niffle's landed. Thank fuck. Fuck the dippies. How hard was this? No, no. Smooth. I like the pathfinding in this game sometimes, it's really good. You know when ground stops being ground? It's, it's a good feeling. Alright. Can, can, can we be a wyvern now? I see you over there, losing all your torpidity from my good darts.
Things I didn't really think through. So that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. I'm really much out, Nullis. If you weren't such a zoomer, I'm sure you'd be joining in. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. No. Bad Spinosaurus. Got him. <sighs> School? What are you? Some kind of young person? Oh yeah, yeah you are. I should be working. But I'm not, because... Right, we're going to knock this fucker out in the water, and then it'll drown. That would be inconvenient. Oh, there's another one. Alright. 145! Ooh. Oh, Microraptors. I don't make money from YouTube. That's a lie and you know it. No one does. The way to make money from YouTube is to host a server for them. I'm sorry, but you use pennies too. down there. You know what? I reckon they can breathe underwater. Let's find out. Have I just killed it? Hey, it's not drowning. However, that single little angry fish boy has messed up my taming. 
Woo lad. Okay, cents, not pence. Oh, oh, the difference. We don't use euros. Can't believe you'd say such a thing, Ellis. Thought you knew better. I came here to get two 150s. Oh well. That was an unpleasant audio tear. Female tech raptor. Good one as well. Uh, where's she gone? Where's she gone? Not mate boosted. That's some fancy raptors over there. So that's a pretty damn good Spinosaurus. Um, it's a good thing I don't plan to use these for combat. You have been looking at uh, squatting slabs and tracksuits again, then, Nellis. Ah, no, cheeky, breaky, damn. Some. Spinosaurus, it is. Oh, I'm gonna get the XP from it then, I guess. That was kind of bootleg. Alright, not interested. Yeah, uh, stream's still fine on my end, Lois. Good raptor. Ooh, blue stony fella. Ooh, ooh. Uh, hello Dylan. Food is always good. I'm told. Going on up here. Let's just mainline the rest of that kibble. Kibble? No, Kalik. You have got to take this class. 
Yeah, I'm not that. I probably will give you a wrench, nice. Just, just you know, don't don't abuse your power. I can take the wrench away just as easily. Ninety nine point seven, yeah, that's good enough. And the question is, how long is it gonna to take to get these guys out of here? Unless they weigh what, five hundred pounds each, I think. I could go and get a quetzal. Just airlift them, but I think it'd be quicker just to run them home. Oh, you bitch. No. My sickle. Yeah, you're not getting my ascendant sickle that easily. That's a Trodon. That's a Trodon. Right, now Niffle, behave. Good. I was worried Niffle was just going to go and start yeeting on the nearby countryside. As uh, Lempo was somewhat prone to do. Yep, 99.6. That's good. Good, Niffle. You have failed me for the last time. Again! Where's Mega Saber when you need him? Maybe because I'm streaming. See, now the longer you stay in places like this, the more little bullshit appears. I'm expecting to find otters soon. That'd be nice. Otters are a good place. Overkill, I know, but... Uh I cannot show the otters right now unless they are at the other side of the map. But they are all fine. The stream saw them earlier. Their concerning glowing eyes. I don't know what your graphics settings are like, Nullis, but mine's set quite low. I can set it to the highest one, but meh. It makes it harder to stream. My computer's already having a bad day on that. Meh, if I, if I can do another few months' work and not spend it too much for my money on, you know, food and whatever, I can upgrade my processor. Upgraded processor, I can run 
things. Yeah, I'm not sure what my graphics settings are particularly like on here. So, she's still becoming tamed. Should be two more kibble. Should take me up to about the hour 20 ish mark. I'm not too sure though. Try not to land on the tame, please. Ooh, ooh, red beacon. Oh, yeah, I'm either you're in, you know, class, or whatever, and are uh, not in a position to do anything about it, but, uh, you know, you like Carpenter Brut, I believe. Or Brut, if you want to pronounce them. I don't really know. Um, Ghost have a new cover of their stuff with a music video. That's, um,. Yeah. It's good. Crashing. Uh. Oh no, I actually yeeted on all the commands at once. Come on, Nickel. You can do it. Alright, fine. That was fun. Now, where's Niffle? Oh, you killed a Pteranodon. And then you vanished. Looking <laughs> good. Primitive Iguanodon saddle. The fun never stops. Well, guess I'll take it with me. I'm not being very chatty, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm just looking at the chat. I know. Slightly contradictory points. See, now taming Spinosaurus up here would have been a good idea. What have we got? We've got a... 90 Spinosaurus kin. Called, it's called um, Dance Macabre. Macabre. I linked it in the bouge. You can find it there. So I think the third post up. It's 
got a bit of an intro on it, but uh Oh Cool. Um, now, what was the name of Spinosaurus Kin's lady friend? There we go. Place your bets that that's me being summoned for work. That's the transfer gun. Oops. Further, whoops. There we go, right. Uh, hmm, something I must be carrying is going to be heavy. I wonder what it is. Two point five. Hmm. Hmm. Concern. know that Niffle can happily yeet on anything that tries to kill us. But potentially alpha wivens. Uh, however, uh, the phoenix! The phoenix is quite good at eating on uh, alphas. Due to the fact that it can set them on fire. That, that's a not a lot of hit points. Oh, very good stats at all, in honesty. Um, like, I've got parasaurs with more hit points than that. Admittedly, they're quite good quality parasaurs.
Well, I suppose we're gonna have to continue to play the waiting game. <laughs> what do you mean that that was strange, Nullis? The video? I, I I'd like to think that Richless would appreciate it. <laughs> In response to your last point, doubt. Uh, yeah, I reckon Richelis might uh, appreciate elements of that video. Although I'd imagine he'd like the uh, the young ladies involved to be somewhat uh, swoller. A little bit, yeah. A little bit of doubt on the wholesomeness, Nullis. I mean, you, you are in the swamp. I should tweet it at him. That was a good crit. <laughs> Two more bites. This thing does not get hungry fast. I like it. I mean, yeah. I I would go so far as to say you're probably more wholesome than Mega Saber. Hey, morning happened. Someone turned on the light switch. I do need to do some quick research to check what the name of uh, Spiner's lady friend was. Is uh, you know, Fifth and might get a little uh, offended.
So good. More Paraceraferium saddles. Hooray. There he is. Well, alright then, I, I guess my whistles don't work. Let me see, yep, neutral, hmm. It's, it's fine, I didn't want that rapture or anything. I think Nucker. I think Nucker's the winner here. Barely fly. Let, let's not try and hum that because someone got it stuck in my head a couple days ago. Oh, not on YouTube. I have to offload some of this stuff. I have a nice big Spinosaurus to put stuff into. Yeah, these things have almost comically low hit points. I could dump a mag into one and probably kill it. That'd be good. The telescope worked with the rifles. And I've hit caps lock at some point. Right, do a quick Google search. <laughs> I 
Okay, put Spinosaurus Kid into Google. Spinosaurus Kid, Spinosaurus King 875, Spinosaurus King Lawrence 7. Hmm. 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 Almost all of those replies were V. Stop it. Alright, I guess uh, an Encyclopedia Dramatica is going to have to do for now. <laughs> there we go. Um, where did I park Niffle? Hello, Niffle. Hmm. This Spinosaurus is significantly better statted. Your disappointment, D. Yep, my, my mass whistles just do not work. That's inconvenient. Um, how do I get out of here? I think I can actually get out of the canyon at that end. I'm gonna go look at Ollis Nullis. I'm just taking these guys home first. Oh, yeah, over here. Her da da. Okay, that's that's an inconvenience. My game no longer recognizes those whistle commands. Land? No, alright. Um, there's one. Oh, I did have two of these. This is why I killed it, he's...
I'm gonna get back as quick as I can, Nellis, but it might not be enough time. Sorry, Nellis. Um, this is this was less exciting than anticipated. I didn't anticipate it to be very exciting in the first place. Land, land, land. Ah. Uh. How? Why are you like this? At least eat the parasaur. Parasaurs are good wholesome boys who didn't hurt anyone. I like this clipping. It's good clipping. There we go. I, remember, I know I tamed a lot of Dilophosaurs and some Dodos.
Um, can, can we not, please? Uh, artistic keep of weapons. Right. You don't have my GPS. You do. Okay. Probably tamed some dodos. And lots of Dilophosaurs. Mm, there's a lot of lag here, that's good. Gonna watch this ravager get yeeted. This slow down. It's almost like I'm streaming this or something. That's a reaper. Hello, I'm gone. Um. around the side and hope it doesn't notice. <sighs> I wonder if I should get another Spinosaurus and call it Lauren Southern. But just keep it at a nice safe distance from uh, Dave. Hmm. Uh. Where's Where's Dave? Look, just because I named you after an autistic Spinosaurus didn't mean I actually wanted an autistic Spinosaurus. Well, Niffle earlier is, uh been ignoring my orders, so I don't have a nice new rat to bring home with me. Cause he fucking ate it.
Ooh. Much excitement. Many entertain. Wow. Ooh, red beacon. I wonder if I should jump into Raleigh for a bit. I don't know who's around, but no one's in the swamp. Normally Mega Saber's here by now. swim faster than they can walk. Mm. Not much in it. seem much faster on land. Now are they a size category sufficient for the ground things to ignore them? Let's hope so. Why is it a long walk to get a new one? YouTube seems to be back to normal after it shit itself yesterday, so that's that's good. Uh, I had a message. I was going to check. It is a WhatsApp. Um, it is from work. Still there, good. Now, I think we're going to have to put them in the meat pit for a bit. Oh, don't run over the thing, don't run over the thing. Ah, oh, you fucking idiots. Oh, I can put them on the lift. they can get to the house. As the house loads back in, we shall shortly see some otters.
may have overloaded myself slightly. Well, I've been streaming for nearly two hours and the computer is still running just fine. Touch wood. For anyone who didn't go to see it earlier, yeah, I'm, we built a castle. And it is exactly as poorly laid out as it looks. Yeah, the uh, extinction's coming out at the beginning of next month, which looks fun. I will probably be throwing some money at that. Um, darts can go back in the bridge. In the kibble. Um, there, there is the otter collection. There we go. We've got otter face, smallest bean, Sammy, and Lena. Probably be adding to them at some point. That's it. Nice to have a personal otter. Now, the Spino. We do have a Spinosaurus saddle. Alright, let's see if we have the blueprint for a Spinosaurus saddle as well. need to move this bookshelf. It is not well placed. Now we'd have a Spinosaurus saddle. Shame. I need to make more dumb bullshit. So we've got space for useful bullshit. Just remembered. But I'm a fucking idiot. Um oh, shit. Almost didn't hurt myself on the way down. Right then. Uh, load more crap onto Dave. is exciting, isn't it, everyone? I can fit exactly one of these on at a time.
Yay. <laughs> Got a good oxygen to tap this one. I think. A bit more of a tour afterwards. So that's D. I've delivered to the D. Now to try not to die in the process of descending, as apparently lifts are death traps. Unless, of course, there's a fire, in which case you should always use them, according to social justice twitter or at least a social justice twit I should have just used the ramp. <laughs> and so when I'm done streaming later, I'm going to reinforce this place's defences. Just in case anyone gets ideas. <laughs> Although, to be fair, they have to try and get through significant amounts of bullshit if they want to do anything like that. Took out Furiosa yesterday and got wood. Yep. Lots and lots of wood. There we go. Rotiserate those. That is, I believe, the correct word. So, smallest bean. Otter face. Uh, I'm gonna say Sammy. Hey, Sammy. Now, if I'm being realistic.
We're gonna have lots of otters soon. Otters for days. Reminds me, how is fried rice? Behavior, follow, low. Well, this is very exciting for the four people watching as I trundle around my workshop and tidy up. Baby otters for days soon, though. Before I get taken down for bullying and harassment on YouTube. Fedora tipping intensifies. Right, Daisy Hog. I know, it's, it's an unlikely fairing, they're actually near each other. Geographically. Uh, right, timer. And once again it's 3 o'clock, so... 3 hours, 40 minute timer, set. Otters for days. I've not checked on the farmer today. The farmer, the gardener. Eventually, we might start having a surplus of alcohol, which we can use to tame calicotheriums. The calicotheriums. The newest additions are Alpha, no step on Snack, and Snack, Snack, Snack. They're all genderless, they don't get any boosters. And we've got fried rice. Uh, Pteranodon shelf is uh, a bit more diversified now. It's uh, got uh, the hot and the cold tap along with the mixture of the two, which we have caught and hold. Because, you know, excitement. Uh, got all the Allosauruses down there. Not gonna not gonna comment on the names. Uh, we have the newly modified meat pit. And we have all of the things that exist. That are for eggs. A few things that are just in storage. Uh, for example, there we go. We've got uh, White and Manilo, our Baryonyx. 
Got Olga and Boris on the pet shop. Uh, that reminds me, I was making ammunition yesterday. I should top up the turrets. That's... That's a detonator. Let's... Let's not... There we go. Right, now I believe it's my preset number one. Okay, we've got 2,000 rounds of ammunition. It's not too bad. Uh, we have in here... I see what's... Um, eugenics chamber. He is trying to breed the perfect, uh, what's called, flappy birds, trinodons. And on the ground, so we'll get the eggs from them. We have uh, Fried and Sunny over here. Just inside the house for this. Uh, this is where the meat pit used to be. It covered this entire area, but it's now much more orderly. Uh, we have the atrocity barn. There we go. We've got uh, Berkeley, Trump, Stoneman Douglas, Charlottesville, Columbine, Dab on the Commies, Virginia Tech. You know, all wholesome names. Uh, we've got all of our unicorns. Regular horses. It's one of the older bits of the castle there. Uh, what else have we got that might interest people? Right, we have the Honey Badger Brigade, Honey Badger Radio, and Honey Badger Bite. They're not landmines? Nope. The, the trophy rack. Have more honey badgers. Although they only look like honey badgers from the front. Uh, got a doughy boys. Shit ton of ferrazinosaurs. Uh, the ankylosaurs. Need to tidy up in there. Got the Wyvern, not Wyvern, the Quetzal loading ramp. The Quetzals. Got, uh, yeah, so we've got Swordfish, Bombay, very magically named Burb, and Drunk Bird. That's very exciting. Got uh, my Hydra, my little rock drake. These boys are fun. Live on YouTube, in case you're not aware. 
Who am I talking to? Hello, Doom. Yes, I'm live on YouTube. Please do not post obscene stuff in rhythm, because I won't hear it. Of the Buy Me Art Royal here. It's uh, still a work in progress as far as I can tell. I fell off the dock. We're gonna have one more. No way. Um. Where's the thing? Is it just my Discord or is it just bugging out from me? <laughs> I don't know. It's I can hear you. Why? It might be my end, but I can uh, only hear you at intervals. Just on what does at the moment. Full of uh, happy fish boys down here. I'm trying to get breed those at some point. With, uh, some megalodons. This is where we store death and taxes because we don't like them. Occasionally there's gigantosaurus. Some more of our horse collection. Well, I don't know if you can hear me, but I can hear you now. Icon. Oh, hello. You have finished cutting out. Yes, I am live on YouTube. Do not say compromising things should you not want to. Can you talk some more? Hmm? And Sorry, you cut out a bit. Think so. this in a while. This is where we tame, uh, well, tame, beat unconscious and steal their milk, uh, wyverns. Yeah. The Tyrannodon flies in through the doors. Dog. Yep. It's mm. giving my stream a tour of the uh, vicinity. Fly out through that hole in the wall. And then Hello. Hello. Has someone else joined the call? Yeah, I'm like oh. Hello, Hello everybody. Howdy folks. Can y'all hear me alright? Yep, we are live I've on YouTube. Cool. I've been robot, but I can finally hear people. Cool, cool. What about YouTube? We are live on YouTube. Oh, hello YouTube. Happy to see you got back up after after being dead. <laughs> That's always good. Yep. Someone on someone on Twitter made this statement. Uh, uh, uh an insane vegan with a gun wasn't able to shut down YouTube. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> mm. Well there's only one vegan champion and he hasn't deserved yet. Well, I'm talking yeah. about the lady who went to YouTube and shot him up. 
Yeah, like, but that was not their true champion. Oh, who's their true champion? Isn't that Vegan Games? I thought the one that... idiot. I can't prove at the moment. Yep. We're setting it. Got you. Yes, that rather uh, ominous looking place down here is the mausoleum we built for various of our dead pets because they uh, deserve better. Uh, they deserved better. Not much better, but better. I mean, being viciously eaten to death uh, just next to the house didn't go too well for Lempo. Me and my roommate had an interesting conversation the other last night. Hmm. It was on whether jokes desensitize people to become uh, uh, Nazis. What about uh, me and my roommate were having a conversation last night about whether jokes desensitize people to eventually become Nazis. And the answer was no, they don't. No. Jokes are jokes. Are jokes. jokes do not invoke well, ideology to a certain degree to mass murder. Well, the uh, the conversation started Damn. with the conversation started with the idea that I was saying that when organization when groups of people will get someone fired at their job for for shit that they're not even doing at their job. Like there's one lady down in Louisiana who some people saw she had a rebel flag in her front yard. And she apparently worked at the dollar store. And they fucking just sent so many damn letters and annoyed the piss out of the dollar store until the dollar store fired her. Mm -hmm. Which is absolute bullshit because what someone does in their off time Without outside outside of company uniform, you know, when you're not representing your company, should in no way, shape, or form be held against you at your company. Yeah, that should be rule number one. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. But yeah, but it, this has happened on many of occasions, and. My, my statement was, and he was like, well, yes, but shame is a tool that society has used for a long time to get rid of undesirable behavior. And, you know, by the way, he's not saying that what they did was right. He's bringing up valid. It was, yeah, but this isn't shame. That's not shame. That's oppression. Shaming someone hmm. is somebody telling them, hey, that's wrong. I don't want to be around you if you're going to do shit like that. That's shame. Yeah. Hello, Robert uh, Bartley. A, shit, a shitload of people calling up where you work and getting you fired is not shaming. That's oppression. That's and intimidation. Said, that's intimidation. And I said, and that is the shit these neo-Nazi assholes prey on. Because, oh, you got fired from your job. You got fired from your job because what? Country. All these minorities hello, are the Eric. ones who are making you. All these. Hello. All these. Hello. They are apparently Dutch. Oh, I'm you're sorry. In, you're talking in the game. He, he's talking, talking in game. I'm talking to the chat. Ah, hello, people in chat. Wait, they are Dutch. Yep. Oh, there is. Holland's near right. Dutch, right? <laughs> I am going to kill you. <laughs> I thought those were the same place. Dutchland. Deutschland, or as in Germany or Holland. <laughs> Dutchland, Dutchland. Super. But but regardless, so my statement was that that's when Pete when that stuff happens, it actually drives people to the far right group. These, these group of people who prey on this shit. Yeah, because they go, oh, like, oh, these people are doing this to you. 
Well, you know what you could do. You can know. You know what you can do. There is a nice white boot for you, and just. And and that was and hit one of the things he said was that I doubt that someone. I don't think someone would immediately change their. You know, immediately go to. Idea. We need. Right. We need to go kill all these people just because. You know, just because fired from their job. And my response to him was, you don't seem to understand how these groups work, dude. They're, man they, first off, they're extremely charismatic and they're smart. They're not going to come up to you and be like, hey, yeah, it's really messed up. You want to go kill the, all the black people in the world? No. They're going to come up to you and be like, <laughs> give you a place of comfort. They're going to come up to you and they're going to be like, man, that really sucks. I hate that that shit happened to you. Look, I'm a part of this group. Is it, or isn't that the freaking KKK? Yes, but let me finish. But like, so. you don't have to believe everything we believe. You don't have to believe everything we care about. But wouldn't you want to fight so no one else will lose their job because of shit like this? Wouldn't you want to fight to make it to where you will never lose your job again because of something like this? You don't have to believe in everything we believe in, but just believe in this one thing with us. To help us do, help us get this one thing done. And then and, from one thing to another. Yeah, and, and because right now we're the only ones who are trying to stop this. And, and after they, a little while, yeah, they, they join them. And even if they never fully do everything, even if they never fully believe everything these assholes believe, they're still going to support them. They're going to be like, hey, man, we need like $10 to help the rally. Or we need $20 for this. Or we need, you know. It, sound, it almost sounds like you're recruiting Mega Saver. No, I am most certainly not. <laughs> this, I'm, I'm telling people these are the tactics these fuckers <laughs> use, and the fact that you think I'm recruiting proves that the tactics work. Yeah. That's the fucked up part about it. Mm -hmm. the, so when people do this massive, oh, we're going to get this person fired because they have this belief, or be, because they have a, a flag we don't like, or we think they're a Nazi when they're actually not a Nazi. You're driving people to become Nazis. You're driving them towards the shit you don't like. Well, it's the whole divide and conquer until you have so many divisions that you have only division. Well, you basically isolate the target and then slowly warm them up to the ideas. Yeah. That's, that's normal cultish behavior. Yes, that's how this shit works. It is yeah. fucking bullshit. Just ask uh, Princess. He knows. But like I said, my main that that's always been my main deal. You want to shame somebody, that's fine. You don't want to associate with them in public, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Any you should never be trying to get people fired from their job. Unless one they are being malfeasant about their job. Two, they're using their job to as part push. Of the platform. Right, to push this bullshit. But if they just do this in their off time and they don't, you know, associate their work with this shit at all, then you have no right to try and get them fired. Yep. Yeah. And then they start with the bullshit arguing of, yeah, but he has that he says that he works at this place on his Facebook. So he is on the job while he says that. That kind of shit that happens. Yeah. Yeah, that it's, it's if there is a clear association between you and your yeah. place of work, I can see why they would be like, hmm, can you not? Yeah. Like, uh, well, you know, there's um, Kirk Norris who got fired from his job as a uh, hairdresser because all of his female co-workers didn't feel comfortable with him being around them. <laughs> to, to, to be fair, I didn't think Chuck Norris should have been fired. I mean, I do, if, I, if I you were an exclusively I, I, other than him female workforce, would you want to live with a, want to work with a guy who, you know, fucking well, round, tries to roundhouse kick people in the face for having different agree opinions? I, I do only not meant to kick her phone. I I, oh my I, god. I believe, I believe he should have been arrested. Oh, he was. And then, yeah, exactly. And then they could have oh, fired him. 
they could have fired him for violating. I don't think he should have been fired because people were outraged about what he did. Did I think he should have been fired because what he did was illegal. From what I heard, <laughs> uh, he was fired because uh, all of his co-workers were like, yeah, no, get fucked. Yeah. And, more, and, yeah. Like, and that's the thing, too, is that, you know... You assault someone. That, of course, people don't yeah. want to be near you. But that's not a political belief. That, that's a violent crime. Yeah. Those are slightly oh, yeah. different things. It's the same thing, though. It's because, you know... Politics equals violence. We're back to the ancient Roman Empire, apparently. If, you know, <laughs> someone at your job was going, I really don't, you know, I have this problem with people who install plumbing, so I'm going to violently attack people who install plumbing. You're not really going to want them as your co-worker when you're selling plumbing, right? Yeah. <laughs> True. I'm going or they, I don't like how you install your plumbing. You use metal pipes, not plastic. Re. But the thing is, he probably wouldn't have gotten, he probably wouldn't have gotten a job in a company like that. And even if he did, I still don't think he should be fired from the job until he does something. He can, he can say everything he fucking wants. Let's think. It's because he roundhouse kicked that lady <laughs> that he got fired. Exactly. Mm -hmm. that, I, I'm. I'm, I'm I'm saying that, uh, I may have been going about this the wrong way of saying it, but I, I'm, I'm saying that he shouldn't have been fired because a shitload of people showed the video to everybody and were like demanding he was fired. He should be fired. He should have been fired I because. I can hear my door, he, sorry. He should have been fired because what he did was illegal and, and very not appropriate for the place he worked at. Hmm. Nah, yeah, I can see that. Because that's the thing. If you work at, say, a bank, and you're caught on video Stealing. robbing, yeah, robbing from another bank, you don't want them they, working at yeah. the bank. Yeah, like because you and they, next. Then and you also replace all the lock, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, there's some. Some things, but to to fire someone because of something they believe or something they said. So long as there's no, because that's the, that's the other fun thing about this. Most companies don't give a shit. Most no. companies do not give two fucks what your political ideas are, what your political uh, leanings are. None of them care. They only care when that's your a shit. They only care when a shitload of assholes call them up and start bothering them and start making their jobs more difficult and then they're like dude we got to let you go your shit has started so much crap with us we just we're tired of it we don't give two shits who you voted for we don't care about your political ideas but apparently everybody else fucking does so we got to let you go cuz we're not going to deal with this yeah nope. <laughs> but if people would just stop all that bullshit then we wouldn't be having this problem. We wouldn't have as many, as nearly as many problems as we do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you're caught on, if you're caught on video, like assaulting someone, yes, you should lose your job. I'm not saying that you should. Hey, yep. I can't believe you have such a radical idea, I guess, over. Yeah, I know. Assaulting it's, it's... people is somehow bad. <laughs> I can't believe that fucker was a hairdresser. My I God. entirely can. Did you not hear how he spoke, how he stood, how he dressed? Could he be any more he, of a stereotype? His hair, his, his hair looked like absolute shit. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, that's usually what hairdressers do. They let someone else cut their hair. And also, they usually want the newest and the hippest styles, which are usually shit and ugly. I don't blame them for having someone else cut their hair. I mean, it's hard to cut your own fucking hair, but to to make the to ask to request that your hair look like that is what was with the? Well, I have you've seen all those memes of I, I want to look like X, and then it's just I got you, fam. Yep. Oh yeah. The, I want to look like I hate everybody. And that I have daddy issues, and then it's just a picture of a girl with like 
one quarter of her head shaved, but the rest of it's normal. <laughs> Normally also, an asymmetric what, what, quarter. What was with him sticking the tongue out whenever he went to- I don't like, know! What the fuck? Like, I'm like, it's, it's so, like, were you- retarded. I saw someone you do a, a video on the con- on the- on an analysis of it. Not from, like, the political or, like, the social aspect, but from the actual physical aspect of that's not how you kick a person. <laughs> it took a lot of time, but I have a single Titanoboa egg. Hey! Congratulations. So you have some Titan... So you actually have Titanoboas. Yeah, we've, had, we've got them yesterday. Now, what does Spinosaurus you, eggs look like? What so did you do? Can, drop drop them in a box and just drop a shitload of eggs in there with them? Pretty much. Uh, it takes two wiven eggs to tame the ones we got on the grounds of we don't need what combat snakes. Fifteens. Wow. Oh, two wiven eggs. Yep. Tamed. Nice and easy. How fast do they eat? How fast do they eat the eggs? Um, pretty quickly from the look of it. Um, I know ice wasn't very long because I was doing the air dropping. He was doing the egg delivery. Because um, that was always my that was always my worry with training Titanoboas is the idea of the egg spoiling before they have a chance to eat them. Well, it's fertilized egg, so. Hmm. Uh, well, it has to be a fertilized egg. But mm. fertilized eggs still spoil. No, that's mm. quickly. Um, they don't spoil, they hatch. Someone no, they they hatch only if they're at the right temperature. Yeah, they can, if they're not at the right they temperature, can break they'll die. Long before they'll spoil. Um, yeah, no, the danger noodles uh, should have eggs to eat, but I think I accidentally cooked their breakfast yesterday. <laughs> um. um No one has. I think there is some problem with my fucking internet connection, or that Brazil isn't just wor is isn't working for me at the moment. Well, you can hear you fine right now. Yeah, I'm hearing you guys are fucking robots the entire time. Hmm. I really hate that. I hear I'm Skog fine. I I'm hear you fine. I'm you can hear me fine, because normally while I'm streaming, I get absolute garbage internet connection because it's busy. Now you did robot right there just now, but yeah, yeah, because I hear you do as robots, and let me just figure something out. Maybe it's my fucking headphones not connected right, or <laughs> got plenty of fuel in the generator. Um, I don't really know what to do now. I got two Spinosaurus's. That was sort of my objective for the day. Hey, drunk bird. Uh, I called I them. I called them D and Dave. I'm thinking of getting a really high-level female one and calling it Lauren, and then keeping it a nice, safe distance away from Dave. <laughs> I didn't actually get my clothes back. I am. Wandering around in the nud. Uh, but yeah, if the chat has any suggestions of things I can do. I mean, as long as I'm around for picking up the otters when they're born later. Alright, sorry about that. I lost connection for a few. Breed more Hesperonis. Behavior. Oh, I was looking through Twitter and <laughs> freaking Pornhub made a post. <laughs> it said, well, YouTube's down, but we're still up. <laughs> it's just like, wow. Yeah, I saw Dankula tweeting on that one. Oh, 
I like that, like, all of the YouTubers I know were just on Twitter going, What do we do now? We were in the middle of stuff. Do we even exist anymore? <laughs> That was, that was what uh, Jacksepticeye said that when he was like, yeah. if YouTube's down, do we do we even exist? Um. Hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Where, where's that gone? Yep. Yep. Back here. Uh, if I pull the others in your room, Nullis, I... It's gonna be harder to get to the nanny, but I can. Oh, Nullis is in chat? Yep. He is being a good boy and not scathing from school in any fashion to look at YouTube videos. Welcome back, Doom. And finally I can hear you right. Huzzah! I had to reset my phone for this. <laughs> then the wind oh, huzzahs. Right. Give that man a lozenge. Hey, what's that? Whoever was coughing, give them a lozenge. What the fuck is that now? You don't know what a lozenge is? I might know, it's just I don't know what throat it means. Throat sweets. Sorry. A, uh, a oh, throat oh, lozenge. A throat oh, lozenge oh. is medicine. Is medicine. It's, it's basically like a sweet little thing you can suck on that helps your throat whenever you've got a bad cough. It's like a cough syrup. Re Ricola. Ricola is a, is a, a lozenge. Oh, okay. Mm. I see, I see. And uh, no. As requested, I'm <laughs> chucking all the otters into Nullis' room. On the lotus? Well, we're gonna have he hopefully... He wants to be covered in... He wants oh. to be covered in otters. Covered, I say. Otters, otters as far as the eye can see, riding into battle upon a uh, upon a wave of otters. That is something Nullus would do, yeah. It would be the most adorable crusade ever. No Not effective, one, but definitely none, adorable. None could beat it. Why should be a lot otters, of could beat it, but... humans, be right riding unicorns, wearing otters, as we charge mm. into battle. And ineffectively eat upon people. But hey, what were we talking about? Uh, I'm not really sure. I was talking up to the chat, and then Mega Saber was talking about how people get indoctrinated. And then I sort of got yeah, distracted like uh, as. There is a van outside delivering, I think, carpet. But I'm expecting someone to come into like a large rubbish collection to pick up an old sofa. Also, why the, why are you streaming anyway? Uh, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Yeah. I used to stream quite regularly on Wednesdays, but with being busy with work, I've not had time to do it for like a month or so. Uh. But, but it is Wednesday, my dudes, so I'm streaming. Sophiana, my dudes. Let's see. Hesperonis are so awkward to tame. You have to fit the, you have to feed them like otters. However, unlike otters, they have a massive food capacity to tame them. Because an otter can be tamed with you know three or four mm. good fish a lot of the time. But even the most and I'm back. bootleg ones, like I think one of these was a four, and it took a good twenty minutes of fish hunting to get it. 
And that doesn't include the amount of time it took you to find the SOP to begin with. Yep. Because you can't pick them up with a wyvern. So you can't just take them to the fish. You have to bring the fish to this. Yeah. A lot of the things in this room have annoyed me in some ways. They have rather colourful names. Like this one. Can you speak out the name? I, I would prefer not to. Oh, don't you want to get, you don't want to get demonetized? Um Eh, I'm not going to get monetized, so it's not very really much of an issue, but, uh... Ban. Eh. I would not want to unintentionally offend people who might be listening in but not actually aware of any context. You just want to off never unintentionally offend, always purposefully offend. That's, yeah. Um, alright, bootleg penguin. Um... Fish stick and fuck um fuck nut. Uh just sort of <laughs> mooching around in here. I need to get some actual penguins. They can survive and whether other than their normal environment? Um I would hope so. Otherwise they're gonna have a bad if day. Not, if not do they melt no, but they tell you bad jokes instead. Why do I keep having adverts? Do you support the no deal Brexit? Just get on with it. That's what I want to happen. Spain doesn't want the no deal. She wants to stay in. Well, yeah. It's everything everything she did was to prevent is from happening, and you're surprised that they're stalling. Uh, thank you for your participation. N no. <laughs> Not gonna fill in your quiz for the potential of you mining my data? What? Could it, could you... The you see, I, I don't know. I've been following the Brexit shit for a little while, but here's the, here's the main crux that I can see. Hmm. And what? It's always. But they want to negotiate. Keep the tables. And. Doing the math. A lot more than Britain needs the EU. It won't be good. It won't be good for. Oh, it is a needed thing. I mean, they only want like an army and to remove the democracy powers of several of their member nations. Conversation. Um, but yeah. If you're sitting there. And it's not going to be good for either side. Britain's not going to, it's not going to be a good deal for Britain. If it's no deal, it's going to be bad for Britain. It's going to be bad for the EU. But the thing is, the EU will be hurt worse. And they know that. Which is yeah. why they are quite content with delaying it as long as they can. Or us this delaying is true. it. But do you, uh, this, is, uh, this is also true. However, but all this do you know what they could have done? Do, do you know? Do you know why nuclear weapons work? Uh, no. Because physics. Because mutually assured destruction is not preferable. No one wants mutually assured destruction. <laughs> and That's where you're wrong, kiddo. Uh, yeah. You're wrong on that option. There are some people that do want it. Mm. Most people who are in it to make money don't want it. And That's a better... the, And the EU definitely is in it to make money. Like, I, I, I don't think anybody ever has said this before. 
But the EU does not give two flying fucks about people. The EU cares about money. Really? I, I MEPs know only earn 100,000 euros a year. <laughs> that is more than I will ever earn in my life. I mean, you know, it, it takes a lot of time and effort to work out whether they should vote yes or no on the piece of paper they've been handed. With the <laughs> prerequisite answer already on it. Yep. Well, I say yes or no. Yes or not yet. I believe that's the uh, official protocol. Oh yeah. When did didn't she say she was going to trigger a no deal Brexit at a certain point? Uh, I believe the quote was when hell freezes over. Well, it has been rather cold. Oh, y'all are getting that too, huh? Yeah. It's just starting to get kind of chilly over here. So, it might not be long before it really freezes over. I mean, the Saints already won the Super Bowl, so I mean, shit, hell, hell's been frozen over for a while. Who cares about the Super Bowl? That stupid Super Bowl, let's be honest. Uh, nobody anymore, actually. <laughs> Used to be kind of a big thing, but not so much anymore. I want that. This is what happens when you Ooh. insert politics into the Bretton Circus, people. Ooh, Titanic about rights. You never include politics in that. Right, I've got two new Hesperonis eggs. Uh, but cool. isn't the current Bretton Circus just politics? That's the issue, is that, that and people are wondering why some, some movies are bombing the way they are. I'm like, because you keep shoving, trying to shove politics down people's throats. It's like, well, they still made a bunch of money. Yeah, they made a lot of money, but they could have made more if you wouldn't have been asinine pricks about shit. You clearly do not know the way. Yeah. That's the problem. Them being asinine bricks is basically hard uh, hardwired into the system. So they can't really uh, stop from doing that. Uh, I can't believe this. Just hold on. I need to look at stop looking at the Kirikaru page. Oh, how is it past Kirikaru? Penguins. Delicious, delicious penguins. Can't believe I got home. I was like, yeah, everything's unloaded. Both the Spinosauruses. Neglecting the actual, you know. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay. not coming back. It's gone. They're all gone, child. We're faced with the exceptionally bitter people who are still unaccountably here. <laughs> Most people don't care at the right moment. Now is Mega Saber gone or is Mega Saber just AFK? Let me check. Okay. Okay. Uh, addendum. Gone or just not muted his mic and walked away? He hasn't muted his mic. Okay. Well, so hopefully he file? won't start, you know, having conversations with people again. Yeah, I'm sorry about that for yesterday. 
Ah, it's fine. It's uh, it's some of the more kind of um, haha, hmm moments. And he's just like answers the phone, you know, of where he works. And it's just like, ah, so so that's that's where he works. Oh. Could be also could have just been rabbit doxing him. Rabbit that goes, you've got your username yeah, and your actual name. Okay. We're just going to show your actual name, not your username. Have fun with that. <laughs> I meant to stop for water. Well. Alright. This snowy hill in front of me apparently has penguins. So I'm going to try and get at least one penguin. Yeah, because I'm exciting. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Uh, I'm Skog. This. And I basically get. Who can say where the connection goes? <laughs> what the disc? Well, I probably, I probably won't be. I probably won't be eating around lunchtime anyway. So yeah, it's. Consider it brunch. Let's call it brunch. I think it might be me flying that's lagging out the connection, but uh, we'll find out when I land. Hello, Anchor. Yeah. So I, I want it. I would for my co worker, too. Yeah. But I I like, like I like a lot of Scarab. And open them up, and I'm like, yeah, no, this is like one order of eggs. Yeah. One order. Of eggs. Yeah. Sorry about that. Somebody. They're not. Right. Wait. I get, I got one. Like, okay, this is one order each. I go, go back in, and I'm like, yeah, I want it two order. Yeah. The, the, I'm like, this doesn't look like two orders. So like, no, that's two orders. I'm like, are you serious? This is two orders. This barely looks like an order of scrambled eggs. Well, no, an order of scrambled eggs is one scoop, and that's that's two scoops. I'm like, two scoops. I'm like, all right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's nothing you can argue at that point. Like, that's that's policy. That's the technicality. That they do their scrambled eggs. Apparently, it's not much. You don't get much. Hold on. How much did the scrambled eggs cost me? And this is where they, you find out they are ripping you off. It sounds like a different Four orders thing. of scrambled eggs cost me $5.20. So that means an order of scrambled eggs is... A dollar thirty. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. However, for the amount you. Yeah, I would rather just spend that much by, you know, uh, for one order by it's six not, eggs. A dollar thirty, I would expect to pay for you know a hand handful of scrambled eggs. I'd rather not have a handful. I'd prefer like a plate or something. So this is. Oh, there's. It's, it's their. It's their source. Yeah. Like, you can't. That's how much. It is. It's just like. I won't be going there for those scrambled eggs anymore, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Like, I don't feel I got what I paid for, is the main thing. Yep. Regular crystal. Just the day where the wrong co workers on. Oh, no, no. I, I had confirmation from that. What make this? Oh. Okay. Alex in the chat says 
If a scoop of scrambled eggs costs a buck twenty, you better be getting some sausage or bacon with it. Uh, up it arrow. Nice your heart. Well, today is apparently the end of the fucking day that people keep cutting off. Sorry, what was the last thing you heard me say? Uh, um, the restaurant where you went at. Right, and uh, well, I went in and like I, I, I walked. When you walk into almost any fast food restaurant, like, holding your receipt and a bag of their food, they the know what's happening. The yeah, manager the flops towards you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like everyone, they want to solve. We do have good customers. A, a lot of restaurants do have great customer service in this country. I'm happy about that. Oh, they yeah, want. But the customer service is more along the lines of, okay, I want you to be, at, I want to silence you as quickly as possible. What do I have to do to do that? It's pretty much the mentality. Please leave. What is the most expedient way for this to happen? Yep. They don't want you to cause a scene and they don't want to cause a scene. So, you know, they're willing to work with you. You know, they see you and they're like, okay, what's, uh, what, what's the matter? What's, you know, you explain it to them and they're like, like and then, you know, you've got three other people who migrate around. Everybody wants to be involved in shit. And it's just like, oh, no. That's two orders. That's two orders. Yeah, each of those has two. I don't have a lot in this life. Oh. Especially when his whole culture revolves around food. <laughs> I don't think they understand that. I just got a pickaxe blueprint. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let me land. <gasps> pickaxe blueprint. Oh, what? Blueprint? Pickaxe. Both cutting out. Both of you are cutting out badly. Really? Like, uh, I, I only hear like every other word Skog says. Well, Skog is streaming, uh, is streaming at the moment, so his internet's already. <laughs> yeah, true. On it. I can hear you. All oh, right, I, I can I hear you know. pretty good, Gren. Gren, princess isn't here. I see all two up. My wife. Both European. <laughs> yeah, I think. Hmm. I, I think it's because for the longest time, uh, you both had very. I don't know. Y'all had similar uh, icons for a while. But you don't look at the icons, you do the voice. Well, right, but your icon has a lot of black in it. His icon's got a lot wow. of black in it. Wow. Yeah, I, I know, I know. His icon's... <laughs> and I'm kind of just seeing, like, out... And I'm, I'm not actually seeing the whole icon, which is what's... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That or I think all my. But that's just how relation relationship between continents should be. I'm sure Princess won't mind. But please do not. Uh... What if to be honest, <laughs> I know Grin means a lot for that nickname. To be honest, I perhaps we should stop. <laughs> perhaps. Or back. Or. So when I find out that the penguins on this game are violent sociopaths. 
Who are? The penguins. Oh, yeah. Didn't you know that? Wait, these have different ages? What the? Mm -hmm. Female? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Hello? Are you gonna go unconscious? No, I'm not going to kill it. I don't know, something huh. might want, uh, I might need to order something. I'm back. Mine. Um, I'm back. So Just, what were uh names? Grin yes. and uh Princess, yeah. To be honest or you bully mine. I bully no one. <laughs> oh I do. <laughs> But yeah, I do that doom. It's just the are the two are the people that I have the most in interest both of these servers. Then you should people. But that's yes, uh, and I, I would run in you as well, and I can beat you guys. Separate. I don't know. I have a fucked up brain. Hey, that's my car. It might be. It might be. It might be because we're both snarky cunts. That's a possibility. Oh, fuck you, Niffle. Yeah, because of the forest, I can't see. Fifth anniversary of the Stanley Parable. Hey, Bill. We're live on YouTube. What? You can finally get that itch. If my connection's too sketchy, someone tell Bill. So, in particular, that we're live on YouTube. It's his Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, there's baby penguins. Can respond. <laughs> Hello? Fuck. Yes. And I'm exciting. We currently have four people watching, one of which is Nullus. The achievement. Well, how are you doing, Bill? The thing Black Crusade. Um, I was on anti bunker rifle. Which, which would have been enough. Nice. How? That's strong enough, apparently. 
Also, sorry, to, and then I bothered you 